If you're wanting to learn how to optimize your header tags on your website for SEO, then you're in the right place because that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Now, most people, <clears throat> they don't really understand that the title tags actually play a pretty significant role in the optimization of a page on a website. And when we say header tags or title tags, sometimes they're called both, we're talking about these headlines that are on the website going down the page here. And when you're setting up the, the header tags on your website, let's open up this page here, you can select which header that you want it to each, each title to be shown as. And oftentimes people will use these different H tags, so header one, header two, header three, header four. They'll use them just for formatting. And what I mean by that is the H1 is usually the largest, the H2 is the second largest, the H3 is the third largest. And then coming down the page, like let's say they wanted this section to stand out. Some people might put an H1 right here just to make it make the text larger. But that can actually screw up the SEO on your on your page. Because Google looks at what's in these heading tags and uses that information to know more about what this page is talking about and what this page should rank for. So in general, the rule of thumb that you need to stick by is on every page you want one H1 tag, one H2 tag, and then the rest of the titles going down the page or the rest of the headers going down the page should be H3 tags. And I'm in WordPress right now, that's what this platform is that we're working in. But if you're using a different platform to build your website, like Wix or Weebly or Squarespace or something, there's a way you can ch check from the front end of the site to see what, what header tags are used for each of these headlines here. So all you do is, and this is on Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers, you just right click and click inspect. And then it pulls up this a bunch of code here where you can click this little uh, select element here and then that'll allow you to highlight the different elements on the page and when we highlight this element you can see this when I move it goes away but this uh, this white block right above where my mouse is you can see it says h1 dot fusion etc etc so the h1 indicates that that's an h1 title tag and then if we hover over this next one you can see it says h2 and then if we keep scrolling down this will be a uh, h3 another h3 and the rest of these going down the page will be h3 and that's the way we want it set up so the, a real quick way to test to see that you only have one h1 tag and one h2 tag on your on your site is again right click and then instead of inspect you just click view page source that's going to open up the code of that page here and then we're going to just search for the H1 tag and we can see that there's only one of those all I all I'm using is command F to search this page and then you can do the same thing for the H2 tag so we're actually seeing that there's three H2 tags on this page which means we're gonna need to adjust some of those so it looks like it's the types of Z grills so where is that? Types of Z-Grills. Okay, so we have another H2 here. So we probably want to switch that over to an H3 and make sure that there's another one here. Oh, it's the this one right here. So you can see that on this site, what's happening is these larger, uh, these titles or these headlines where we want people to where we want it to stand out and grab people's attention the h2 tag has been used to make this text larger uh, but there's several different ways where you can you know edit the text and add in the font size so we can make it 1.5 em and then you can see that makes it a lot bigger so even if it's an h3 you can just increase the font size and optimize the appearance of the titles that way 
So that's that's the that's the basics of optimizing your website headlines. Again, it's just one H1 tag, one H2 tag, and then the rest of the headers on the page should be H3 tags. And you can use the inspect elements to determine what what you have your headline set as currently. And then you can also use uh, view page source to just command F and search for the H2 tags and then it'll highlight them and you can see how many there are. Again, in our case, there's three of them, so we want to reduce that down to two. So we'll go ahead and switch the second H2 tag and the third H2 tag back over to H3 tags. And then we should be good to go. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you have questions about, just drop them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and answer your questions there. And until next time, take care.